by Mona McClendon BBC Scotland image caption Alistair Wilson was 30 years old when he was shot on the doorstep of his family home in Nairn Alistair Wilson was gunned down on the doorstep of his home in the quiet highland town of Nairn as he prepared his two young children for bed 13 years ago. The unsolved murder of the 30-year-old business banking manager has become one of the most baffling cases of recent times but the detective in charge of a new investigation said it should be remembered it also shattered lives. This ISNT a fascinating crime, it's devastating devastating for Veronica, who has lost her husband and for the two young boys, who are four and two, who grew up without a father, says DET SUP Gary Cunningham. Media playback is unsupported on your device media caption gun and envelope clues to murder of Alistair Wilson Mr. Wilson was shot at his home on a Sunday evening at the end of November 2004, he had spent that weekend with his wife Veronica, his children and family friends. When the doorbell rang he was reading their boys a bedtime story. Veronica answered the door to a clean-shaven man aged 3,540, who was described as stocky and was wearing a baseball hat and a dark blouse and jacket. He asked to speak to Alistair Wilson. Veronica went up to the boy's room and told her husband. He expressed surprise that someone had come to the door at 7 p.m. on a Sunday but went downstairs, leaving Veronica to take over the bedtime reading. Image copyright PA image caption Veronica described her husband of six years as a handsome father after a short discussion with the man. Alistair came back up to the room carrying a small blue envelope which the BBC has now learned was empty. The name Paul was written on the front of the envelope. Veronica told the BBC he was just a bit bewildered as to what the gentleman had said, because the envelope WASNT addressed to him. He was bewildered by the name, that it was not addressed to himself, and there was nothing in the envelope. And I said no, he definitely asked for you by name. Image caption an envelope matching the one handed to Alistair Wilson before he was killed Veronica said there was no sense of danger at that point. Alistair had closed the front door. She said it WASNT threatening. It was just very unusual. But there was no fear, otherwise I wouldn't have let him go back downstairs. He did and t need to, he was in the house now. His wife told him they should get the boys down for the night and then try to figure it out. He just said, head go back downstairs and see if the gentleman was still there, she recalled. Minutes later, he had been shot. Veronica said she heard three bangs which she described as the of wooden pallets being dropped. Image caption The killer waited outside the front door while Alistair went upstairs to speak to his wife. She ran to the front door to find her husband slumped and covered in blood. She saw the killer leave the scene and there was no sign of the envelope that had been handed to him. While on the phone to the ambulance service, Veronica ran to a pub across the road and screamed for help. There were more than a dozen people on the doorstep that night, trying to help save Alistair's life. Despite their best efforts, he died shortly afterwards in hospital. Ten days later, the murder weapon was found down a drain streets away from the Wilson family home. Image copyright police Scotland image caption The Hennelschmeisser used to kill the banker is uncommon in the UK. It was a Hennelschmeisser, a 1920s German handgun known as a pocket pistol because of its small size. Forensic analysis identified it as the murder weapon, but tests on the gun failed to extract any usable DNA. Police have now revealed that another Hennelschmeisser, an exact replica of the murder weapon, was handed into them last year following a house clearance in Nairn. The gun is rarely found in the UK. There have only been 13 of these guns recovered here since 2008. Image caption Three guns have been found in Nairn. The murder weapon left an identical gun bottom right in the mail. You're obviously two of them were in Nairn, which would appear quite significant, said DET Con GED Quinn, who has been examining the background of the weapons. Another gun, the same caliber as the Hennel, and almost identical in shape and size, was also found in Nairn. The Belgian-made Melior pistol was handed into police last year. The police investigation has been vast since that November night 13 years ago. More than 60 officers were working on it at its height, and they spoke to thousands of people and collected hundreds of DNA samples. Various theories have emerged about the possible motive, some speculated the murder was linked to Alistair's job with the Bank of Scotland, which he was about to leave, others suspected mistaken identity. Veronica says mistaken identity is the only thing that makes sense to me. Media playback is unsupported on your device media caption a who and a why would let us move on I believe I did know Alistair and that evening, he did have the choice not to go back down, she said. So I believe that he did and he know. If had survived, he still couldn't have told us any more. So the only thing that makes any sense to me was that it was the wrong Alistair Wilson. She added we did and have any sort of lifestyle that there was ever any threat.
I couldn't even imagine why people are actually killed. You know, you see things, other people, and you just presume there's something dark or sinister in their life. But I knew Alistair inside out and there was nothing there. The case is now being reinvestigated by a specialist team based in Edinburgh, 160 miles away from the scene of the crime. Image caption DET SUP Gary Cunningham is leading the investigation for Police Scotland. They have been going over every bit of evidence, every lead that's been gathered over the past 13 years. It's pointless missing one aspect which could actually give us the answer, DET SUP Cunningham said. We do not know who's carried out this crime. We don't have a motive yet. We have to look at personal, we have to look at professional, we have to look at associations, we have to look at possible mistaken identity. All we can do is try our best to follow every single lead that's given, and the public can help with that. The Alistair Wilson Enquiry Line phone number is 0131-311-5916. You can hear more on this story on BBC Radio Scotland on Sunday, the 3rd of December at 9.30, and afterwards on a podcast called The Doorstep Murder.